Well, good Saturday afternoon, friends. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. It is Saturday night and tomorrow night at this time, we'll be getting ready to watch the Dallas Cowboys take on the Minnesota Vikings. And of course, the biggest question in football right now is what is going to happen with Dak Prescott? Will Dak Prescott play, not play? Is this gamemanship by the Cowboys? Do they already know whether or not he's going to play and they're just trying to keep a surprise? You know, Dak Prescott kind of said earlier in the week that we're going to give you guys something in the media to talk about. And that has truly been the case. It's been, you know, here's where I think that the talking heads out there should be actually paying part of Dak Prescott's and the Dallas Cowboys salary because without the Dallas Cowboys, there would be nothing really to talk about. That, I mean, seriously, that is really the driver for all of the sports news is the Dallas Cowboys. Are they any good? Are they trash? Will they go ahead and, you know, make the Super Bowl? Will they burn up in flames? What's Dak Prescott's leg like doing? I mean, it's just crazy how much the Dallas Cowboys are truly talked about. Now, here's my thing. You know, I always say that every player is one play away from being retired. And we know that players, what they're asked to do on the field is inhuman. The average person couldn't get anywhere close to doing what these guys do to stay on the field. The pain meds, the ice baths, the, the rehabilitation, the pain that they literally pay, play through and stuff that they do to try and get back on the field and stay on the field. Um, what's being reported, or actually a, a small footnote, and um, shout out to Stu who brought this to my attention here, was a tweet about five hours ago from Calvin Watkins. And you, it's real easy to go ahead and go past the tweet. And, and right here. Calvin Watkins, Dak Prescott is a game time decision. And see, most people, that, that's all you're going to see is right there. Dak Prescott is a game time decision. The next sentence is the quarterback had a PRP shot earlier this week. How many of you know what a PRP shot is? And when I first, you know, when it was first shared with me, and if you go ahead and click on to the article here, it goes to Cowboys, Dak Prescott will be a game time decision, yada, yada, yada. Um, but doesn't go into detail about the PRP shot. And it rung a bell with me because I was like, PRP, PRP. It's like, I know that I and PRP because I remembered, uh, you'll remember my orthopedist, Dr. Thompson, um, on my left knee, which is, he's trying to get me to make it as far as I can on this knee um, to wait to get the knee joint replacement. Because of the type of work I do, getting down on my knees, he's saying, look, if I do the knee joint replacement uh, right now, he said, you will not be able to get down like on the floor for at least a year because of the scar and everything else. And you're going to have problems with what I do because I do construction work. I do have to get down on my knees. Better for me to get down on these old knees right here and get some help to get up um, than to not be able to at all because, you know, I, I, I can't quit my day job. i got to work. Um, and so one of the things we've been doing is I call them a chicken grease injection where it they used to make it from the cone of the chicken, and it's like a gel that is a series of three shots. You've seen me take the shots. I've done videos with it just to kind of give you guys an understanding of, of what it's like having bad knees. But it basically makes a cushion in there. And he said, you know, it's one of those things that some people works good. For me, it's worked well. He said another option is a PRP injection, which I remember now because he was saying that it's not typically covered by the insurance companies because it's still kind of, at the time when he was talking to me, experimental. Because basically it's taking your stem cells that he was talking about, we take out your stem cells, we put it in a uh, uh, centrifuge, and they pull out these certain cells, and they inject it back in there because what it is is these shell cells are 
very nutrient rich in their healing and their for growth and everything else. And they do this to help heal as much as possible. And he said, again, that's one of those things that some people works really, really good. Other people, it doesn't. And so that's why I remember that's what a PRP is. So Dak, apparently, according to Calvin Watkins, and like I said, this is, I, I've searched everywhere trying to find out more about this. Calvin Watkins is the only person that I found has said anything about this. There is this video right here that was shared to me by Stuart Morrison. And this is the fantasy football doctor. You know, he's, uh, Stuart says he's credible and he talks about this. So I want to play a little bit of this clip so that way you can kind of understand where we are with this whole thing. I am a sports medicine physician in Miami, and we are the Fantasy Doctors, a group of orthopedic surgeons and sports medicine physicians that discuss player injuries and try to help you understand what's going on. So let's figure out what's going on with Dak Prescott's calf. All right, welcome. So this specific video is going to be even more personalized than normal. Mm -hmm. So there are different levels to medicine, and medicine has becoming more and more subspecialized over the years. So initially you had orthopedics. Now you have a split in orthopedics where you have non-surgical specialists like myself. You have orthopedic surgeons. And then within those... There is a subsect of providers, usually the non-surgicals, that really only do regenerative medicine. Out of all of orthopedics, I'd say probably 20 to 30% are non-surgical. Mm -hmm. Then within those 30%, there's probably 5% that are regenerative only and don't do a lot of traditional orthopedics anymore. That's me. I'm in that 5%. So this is literally a very niche market. And and why does this play a role here? Because Dak Prescott, along with many of the NFL guys, got PRP the other day, based on a piece of information that we just got from the DallasNews.com from Calvin Watkins. It came out uh, October 30th at 1.37 p.m. So literally, we are talking about three hours ago, mm -hmm. give or take. Yeah. So before I talk about the specifics of that, what does this entail? Regenerative medicine is essentially using different types of products, usually from you, an autograft, to heal and regenerate new tissue. It's essentially what it's doing. So instead of masking the pain, masking the tissue inflammation, and telling the brain, hey, you don't have pain, which is what a steroid injection does, what if you could actually fix the injury and prevent the injury from getting worse and ultimately Sounds get it great. maybe not completely 100% healed, but significantly better? That's essentially what we're trying to do. Now, there's different levels of products. And here's where I'm a little disappointed that if you're going to go, why don't you go all the way? And, and here's what I mean by that. There's essentially four levels of injections that you can do for, for that I offer for any of my patients, many of which I'd say a half to you know, maybe like a third of my patients are professional athletes. Guys you watch every day, some of Dak's teammates. Uh, you know, we've covered pretty much almost every team in the NFL right now. And you have prolotherapy, which is the lowest level, old school before PRP existed. The most common is dextrose and lidocaine. Creates a little bit of inflammation. The level above that is, is PRP, which is platelet-rich plasma, which takes blood out of the arm, gets spun down in a centrifuge, usually more than once. Then it gets concentrated and you basically are, are, are taking the growth factors from your body, your blood, and re-inject them, re injecting them into an injured area to, exactly to help heal the process. 
The level above that begins what we call the stem cell line. Now, stem cell is not a specific term anymore. It is more of a generalized term. And before I start talking about that, here's an uh, ad from Art of Okay, so I'm going to leave it right there. So, um, Dak has gotten a PRP shot to help um, regenerate the, the calf muscles. You know, when, when you are a professional athlete, there's going to be a lot of different things that you do. I mean, you'll remember uh, Tyrod Taylor, who was dealing with um, pain in the ribs and stuff, where they took a needle and they were trying to inject pain pet meds into it, and they punctured his lung with the needle. And I'm sure there's been other cases where guys have had shots and medication and stuff. Uh, there's like Tanadol, for example, that uh, the NFL has now actually warned players that don't take that as a precursor before games for pain meds because it can cause internal bleeding. So in, in some regards, when you think about this therapy of basically taking your normal stuff from yourself and spinning it down and getting the the richest most potent part of it and putting back in to me that sounds like a whole lot better than some of the other stuff that they do to try and mask the pain and stuff there are different types of shots and stuff where they take like your bone marrow or they use like placentas um and, and get you know other cells and stuff to regenerate and things now the only thing that is a question on this is um typically this will cause inflammation when you get one of these. And this isn't something like you get the shot today, tomorrow you're going to be better. This is going to help the process heal quicker, but it's going to cause inflammation. Inflammation being swelling, you know, and that's where you get the soreness. And see, that's the thing about when you get injured, you always ice it down because you're trying to keep the inflammation down. You're trying to keep the swelling down because the swelling is where the soreness will come into it. And then you got to start taking any inflammatory medication, which is usually like ibuprofen. And of course, uh, you know, my, my doctor's giving me, you know, I get a hundred of them at a time. They're 800 milligrams in a dose. And they say, don't take too many of them, even though they prescribe a hundred of them. And you got like five refills because it tears up the lining of your stomach. So these are all things that, of course, Dak is trying to do to get on the field. Now, the question will be is, how long ago was it? Because that may be where the soreness came from, is from having these cells that are injected into the calf, and they have to work themselves in there through and do their thing. That may be where the soreness came from. I don't know. I'm just speculating, as well as the doctor, right, the the doctor over here, you know, he wasn't the doctor who gave it to him. He is basically taking the information from uh, Calvin Watkins, who's saying he had a PRP shot. We don't know what kind of PRP shot that he had, um, what day he had it, and so on. So this is speculation from the doctor, and I want to make sure that I make it clear that I didn't say it. Calvin Watkins was the one who reported it, and this is the only place else that I've gotten uh, I've seen it, and of course, once the good doctor here saw this, he's explaining exactly what it was in great detail. So um, I'm, I'm definitely am a little more knowledgeable of it. Like I said, I had heard, I remember it rang a bell from my own personal take um, from from my own doctor about a PRP. I haven't actually had one. Uh, we've been doing the chicken grease, I like to say, injections. That's not the actual medical term for it but to me it's chicken grease for my knee and with that being said i'm gonna let you guys get back to your saturday night and uh, i'm gonna go relax for the rest of the evening i'll do my fireside chat and of course tomorrow at 12 45 uh, eastern time we will get started watching the philadelphia eagles versus the detroit lions with our exclusive philly 500 meltdown cam uh, my son, my son, Philly, and we'll roll right into Denver versus the Washington football team. And then, of course, we will go ahead and get to the primetime event, the Dallas Cowboys versus the Minnesota Vikings with or without Dak Prescott. And with that being said, we'll end it with this.
holmes is my daddy.